Hi, HBNA families, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut bomber jacket professionally. I'm going to be using run neck measurement for this bomber jacket neck also, which means if your neck is 15 inches, so you are going to add extra 3 inches to it, and that's how it's going to work. So if you are new on this channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that if I drop any video, you will get notified. And for the returning viewers, um, I really appreciate your effort for supporting this channel. I'm really grateful. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Here is exact bomber jacket we are about to cut. As you can see how accurate it is. So just pay full attention to the video and at the end at the end of the video you'll be able to cut your own bomber jacket professionally so i'm going to draw a straight line here so after rolling the straight line i'm going to apply my length measurement which is 26 and I'm going to deduct 3 inches from my length for the waistband because I'm going to attach band to the bottom of this bomber jacket. So I'm going to mark 23 after deducting the 3 inches from 26 of my length. So I'm going to connect the marked area together. So after that, I'm going to mark half of an inch inward like this. So this is zip allowance. I'm using half of an inch for my zip allowance. So after connecting those marked area together, the next thing is to apply my neck measurement. I'm going to divide my neck measurement by 3. My neck measurement is 18 and it gives me 6. So I'm going to I'm going to mark 3 inches here. And also I'm going to mark half of an inch for the backdrop. So the 3 inches I marked here will be multiplied by 2 which will give me 6 inches and also for my front neck drop I'm going to mark 4 inches and the reason for the marking of the 4 inches is that while making a curve extra 2 inches will be added to it automatically so the curve itself will produce 2 inches so while marking the curve like this extra two inches will be added to it so which will gives me six inches so let's call let's curve it and let's measure it maybe it will equivalent to six inches so i'm going to take a, make a measurement of it and let's see maybe it's going to equivalent to six inches remember we are cutting on food because this is just a pattern so as you can see that it's equivalent to 6 inches. So 6 inches multiplied by 2, it gives me 12 inches. Plus the 6 inches of the back, back neck, it's equivalent to 18 inches, which is our neck measurement. And now, after that, I'm going to apply my shoulder measurement, which is 17 inches. I'm going to divide it by 2, which is... 8.5 so i'm going to mark 8.5 for my shoulder length so now i need to determine my shoulder slope i'm going to divide the chest divided by 24 inches so 36 divided by 24 it's equivalent to 1.5 inches so my shoulder slope is 1.5 inches i'm going to mark 1.5 here so after marking the 1.5 i'm going to connect it to the tips of the neck area like this 
now next thing is to determine my armhole depth by dividing my chest by 4 minus 1 so it's equivalent to 8 inches so I'm marking 8 inches here for my shoulder depth for my armhole depth so my shoulder length I'm going to place it here just to make sure that it's on a straight line so I'm going to connect it to the shoulder line after that I'm going to apply my chest measurement so 36 divided by 4 it gives me 9 inches so I'm going to mark 9 inches here I'm also going to mark 9 inches at the hips area so because I'm cutting for male and also it can be unisex also so after that I'm going to find the center of my armhole depth it is 8 inches and the center is going to be 4 inches so from the center I'm going to come inward by 1 inches then I'm going to place my French cuff to draw the armhole depth curve So after that, I'm going to apply my seaming allowance to it, just like 0.2 inches because I'm using weaving machine to, to stitch the clothes. Now I'm going to cut out my, I'm going to draft slaves pattern. I'm first going to roll a straight line here. After that, I'm going to mark 3.5 inches for my slaves cap height. And from that slave cap height, I'm going to apply my armhole depth, which is, which is 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches. I'm going to connect it like this after that I'm going to form a slant line like this after that I'm going to find the center of the line I wrote so after finding the center I'm going to mark the center and I'm going to place my French curve to draw the cap sleeve cap height and also draw the curve of the sleeve so after that I'm going from the first line I wrote I'm going to apply my hand length which is 23 and I'm going to deduct 3 inches from heat for my for hand band because I'm attaching 3 inches hand band So I'm using 5 inches for my whole sleeve opening. So I'm going to roll it like this. And I'm going to use my hip curve to connect it together. So I'm using hip curve to connect the sleeve together like this. Now let me measure the sleeve and let's see maybe it works out. So it's equivalent to 9.5 and let me measure the armhole depth. 
also it's equivalent to 9.5 so definitely our slave cutting is perfect so now let's cut the fabric with the pattern so as you can see here, i'm cutting on food so i'm i want to cut the back part first so i need to fold in the zip allowance for the front part so because i want to use the pattern to cut the back so i need to fold the zip allowance So this is the back part of the cloth and now I'm going to cut out the neck because I want to cut the, my front part of the cloth and I'm going to notch the zip allowance area. So as you can see I'm not folding the zip allowance because this is the front part of the cloth. So when I'm done with the cutting, I'm going to notch the zip allowance area like this. I'm going to do the same at the bottom of the cloth. Here also, I'm going to notch it. So our clothes is done and also I'm going to cut out the sleeve. And I'm going to notch the sleeve also. So here I'm going to cut my band, waistband. So I mark 6.5. You know 3 inches is my waistband, waistband but I cut 6.5 so that after I added sewing allowance to, to it so that after the sewing it's equivalent to 6 and 3 inches while folding. As you can see, mark, measuring it now it will give me 3.25. But after sewing and joining it to the cloth, everything will be equivalent to 3 inches. And also I want to cut the front pocket of the bomber jacket. So here I mark 7.5. Why my pocket opening is going to be 6 inches. So here also I also mark 7.5 and I rolled it. So I'm just going to draw it like this. And so this is the interval of one inches. So this is my pocket also. So the pattern is, is